In fluid mechanics, we spend a lot of time quantifying forces due to pressure, due to shear, and due to gravity, which are the three main forces applying on fluids. And so at some point, uh, we ask ourselves, um, is it worth adding another fourth force, the mysterious and somehow dazzling force of flotation, buoyancy? The answer is no. Uh, so this is the situation where we are looking at. Uh, we have a hot air balloon here. Um, and this hot air balloon is uh, being filled so that it may float inside the atmosphere, uh, which is, by the way, a very inefficient and unecological way of moving about. Um, and one may ask uh, just, just what is so special about the hot air in there? Um, and what is so special about buoyancy in particular? Um, and the answer is nothing. There is nothing special about buoyancy. Uh, buoyancy is... Uh, just the sum of pressure forces uh, when you're standing in a static fluid. Stand in a static fluid like you are right now inside the air of the Earth atmosphere. Um, this air presses on your body from all the sides. The net sum of all these forces is just called buoyancy. Um, Buoyancy may or may not compensate the weight, in particular in the air, uh, with a body that has approximately the density of water, um, the human body does not float. Um, in a water, the human body floats approximately. Uh, in very dense fluid, uh, the, uh, like mercury, a uh, human body would float on top very easily. Buoyancy has nothing to do with weight. Buoyancy is just the sum of pressure forces applying on an object. Um, this is just a big word for force due to pressure in a static fluid. Let me try to show you this with perhaps a conceptual experiment. Let's, uh, let's imagine that you have um, water, and this is a swimming pool. And inside the swimming pool, in your mind, you isolate a cube, a cube of water. And this cube is represented here, seen from the side. Uh, when you take this cube, uh, it has two forces applying on it. It has a finite volume, so it has a weight. Um, and this weight may be, let's say, one kilogram of weight. What is preventing the cube from falling down inside the fluid of water? Uh, it is the reaction force from the surrounding. And this reaction force is made out of pressure distribution. A static fluid, like a standing swimming pool, is not able to shear. Um, and shear, pressure, and gravity are the only forces applying on a fluid. So the reaction force um, from all the sides added up together is a force that is pushing upwards, that is exactly compensating for the weight of the cube. This reaction force, the sum of all this pressure distribution here, all around here, this is just called buoyancy. And so you may remove the water from inside the cube. You would still get exactly the same pressure on the sides and exactly the same buoyancy. Um, it feels like the cube would rise up to the surface, and this is true. This is because you remove the force pointing downwards, which was the weight of the water, but it doesn't change the fact that the fluid on the sides presses by, presses by the same amount. Uh, so buoyancy is just a big word for force due to pressure in a static fluid. The sum of all those um, pressure distributions on all the sides of the cube is just equivalent to one arrow upwards, which is exactly um, equivalent to the weight of the fluid that would be contained inside the cube. You may, inside the cube, instead of having nothing, you may put a heavier object, an object that's heavier than the water you replace. Um, and the heavier the object, the higher the force downwards. But again, this does not affect uh, the positive upward force, which is the sum of all the pressure. Uh, that's applying on the cube. Replace it again by water and you balance out exactly the two forces. Yes. So again, buoyancy is just a big word for force due to pressure in a static fluid. Perhaps one last question uh, before we wrap up this chapter. Um, is buoyancy like weightlessness? If any of you have been lucky uh, enough to um, do some scuba diving, like the person photographed here, uh, you, you, I certainly did one time, and I loved it. You can play with your position inside the water. Um, 
you usually adjust the weight uh, and your volume when you dive so that um, the weight and the buoyancy uh, are exactly compensated so that you float neutral. Um, and so you can position yourself in all kinds of position. Um, and comes the question now, is buoyancy, this upward force, uh, is it like weightlessness? And weightlessness, by this I mean uh, the feeling that astronauts have when they are in orbit. They are in free fall, uh, which is just equivalent to having no weight. Uh, this is Sally Ride, the first American uh, astronaut uh, in space in 1984. Um, so when you are in a sp space vehicle, uh, like the space shuttle right here, you are floating about, yes? Is it the same thing as just floating about uh, inside water? The answer is no, it's not the same thing. It's not the same feeling. When you're inside water like this, uh, you feel very comfortable and you are floating. So the water um, presses against your entire body to compensate for your weight. Uh, feels like being on a very comfortable mattress. Uh, but if you put your head upside down, then the fluids inside your own body uh, are still subject to gravity and still compensated by uh, your own body. And so the blood will come down to the, to the head of that person standing down, uh, upwards, uh, upside down. Um, and so will all the fluids in the, the stomach and the body. So you definitely feel you are upside down. Uh, whereas when you are uh, floating in weightlessness um, in orbit, uh, like this person is right here, uh, then there is no feeling of up and down anymore. This is completely gone. Uh, you are uh, definitely experiencing something different. So here you are. Again, one last time. Uh, buoyancy is just a big word for force due to pressure in a static fluid. Do not be afraid of it and uh, jump into the water.